Thank you, Minu. Good morning. Hi, Nora. Hey. You guys are live. All right, let me start this again here. Okay, everybody, welcome. It's Friday night. Um, let's go with Oran Omeno in a night out with the stars. And tonight we were going to talk about back to basics. Prior to the going live here, I want to uh, uh, thank Jeffrey for a video he did today um, as we use it to start it with. But uh, we didn't get your permission to live stream it, so we didn't live stream it. So, um, Minnow. Go ahead, you had something you wanted to say to Jeff. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our webinar tonight. Um, I was going to congratulate Jeffrey Morlock for his very first episode of Spotlighting Other Affiliates. And um, his uh, show name is uh, Beautiful People. And uh, thank you. It was the first episode you posted and it's out there. And it's just only the beginning of Jeffrey's contribution to bringing other affiliates to Spotlight. Thank you. Back to you, Ron. Thank you, Minu. Thank you very much. And Jeffrey, since we kind of highlighted your vehicle, your vehicle, your video, put up your mic and uh, just say a little bit to us on, on uh, I, I found that video today and I think it was a, a, a blessing from above that I found that because I was so in awe that it was right on track of what uh, topic was I come up with. So um, I think it really fit in, and I want to I want to thank you very much. But go ahead and share a little bit on your inspiration of that video. The video you're referring to is we just the, played, yeah. Uh, when Mr. Mufara came on Wednesday on three sixty. Um, if you listen to the whole thing, it, you know how he speaks. It it it, it sometimes uh, appears to be a little choppy in his. Uh, it, he he jumps all over the place. So sometimes it's it, it's nice to cut him into segments and then talk about those segments and give a little context and a little understanding about maybe where his mind is at. And that's kind of what I did with that. Uh, I do that on occasion when I when I do have. Uh, Mr. Mufara, uh, after an appearance, and there's a lot of substance to what he says, but if you're not looking at it in the right way or you're not kind of fitting the pieces together, you could watch that whole thing and come away with like half of it. So that's why I did that particular video is because it really kind of expands it out. It gives an expanded view of your will uh, about where I think Mr. Mufar is saying that we can go and where we'll be. And yeah, we <laughs> we want to get there quicker than three months, but it is something we can live with. We've got a plan now and we've got something now that's concrete and he's moving us forward in a, at a steady pace. And, and it is, I, I, you look back over the last couple of weeks, three, three, four weeks, even especially, and when you start looking at platforms like this one here and others that are out there and the unity that we have really pulled together with, um, you're really starting to see who the core uh, the core members are. And, and I don't mean that in a slightful way, um, but there's a lot of us that are, are kind of down and out, you know, a little bit. I don't know that I would say depressed, but. You know, it's like, you know, you, you just get tired. And in and, and the healthcare uh, uh, industry, we had something we used to call passion uh, fatigue. And, you know, you just love and love and love. And, and one day you wake up, you just, uh, I'm just, you know what? I need some me time. I need to just back away from all this because it's, it takes too much out of you. And we have a lot of folks feeling like that now in on passive where life is just really coming down on them. Um, we've seen a lot of people that are uh, in in uh, a bad way or or uh, whether it's financially or whether it's physically. Um, but when you add to that, that 
they've been faithful and loyal and really waiting for this on passing. And it just seems like every time we turn around, we're getting kicked. And then we, when we're down, we get kicked again. <laughs> but, you know, it it's all part and parcel of the whole process and the journey. And we're not the only ones. The, the whole of the world is going through all of these things. So... I love when Mr. Mufar comes on and talks like that. Uh, when he gives us something that we can really sink our teeth into. And I think he did that last week. Um, and that's why I think too, that tonight when, when I saw back to basics, because that literally is what we are doing. And we heard Mr. Mufar say, you know what, we're going back to the way it was. We're doing what we know is the right thing to do. And we're in the glitz and the glamor of these people, these, these, you know, these high, high managerial level people that are interested in titles and money, as opposed to heart and, and compassionate action, which is what our founding principles were. So when we talk about getting back to basics, I mean, we literally just go and look for what were we doing when we first started that made us so successful. You know, when we deviated from that and we started going, well, he changed something and started bringing others into the company and, and letting some of those things going. Um, we're going to be refocusing on our core mission and vision, right? Which is to revisit the founding principles and goals that drove the company's inception to start with. That's what we all fell in love with, you know, and the, the simplification of um, operations, streamlining the processes, uh, you know, getting rid of the uh, uh, unneeded or, or, or eliminate the complexity, right, of stuff and then prioritize what's essential. These are what we are calling getting back to the basics, Re rebuilding a, a strong foundation, a solid financial footing. I mean, we've always had that. And it wasn't until we had these, these high powered hitters come into on passive that started doing funny things with the money that now we find ourselves in, in a bit of a, a quandary here and a financial hardships all the way around. So we need to get back to that, you know, rebuilding the, the strong foundations we had, reconnecting with customers. Uh, we still got 1.4 million active founder accounts and we've got other members that have signed up, but there's a lot of them hurting. And there's a lot of them that simply can't focus right now on, on passive because they've got other things going on in their lives. And when we reconnect with them, then we'll start to see a bigger uh, unifying picture come into view. Um, we're an innovative, co innovative company. Uh, as we were innovating and, and making more products and doing tooling and resources and stuff like that, we were thriving and moving. Uh, it seemed like at some point we got away from that. Um, I think Mr. Mufar is going to go back to that, you know, and back to, fostering a very positive culture we kind of gotten away from that because of the challenges we've been through um you know uh, making sure that 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 we're agile and adaptable and or adapting and that we can adapt to changing markets because the markets can change on a whim we all know that you know uh le leveraging our our core competencies which are marketing and internet tools resources right the oes man that is our bread and butter um so uh, all of these things speak to what Mr. Mufaro was talking about, but he didn't really get into it that much in detail. He basically said, look, we've got anywhere from, you know, 10 days to three months out where we're going to be back on track. And by back on track, I mean, we're going to be where we should have been two years ago. But we have really, we've been through the school of hard knocks. We're on the way back. We, we uh, I'm just saying we're in recovery phase. And I have no doubt that it's going to work. So uh, I'm going to kind of stop right there and just thank you for the opportunity to speak very candidly with all of you folks. And, uh, you know, I just love you guys and everybody, all of you are out there doing your thing. And that's the whole purpose <laughs> that the fact that Manu <laughs> wouldn't let me off the hook until I did one of those. So, but, but that's what you want to do. And that's what the whole thing for me starting up with this beautiful people thing is that we have people just like you and just like me and just like us that are doing the little things every every day, day in and day out with consistency 
And those are the things that are really holding us. That's the glue that's holding us all together, you know? Um, so thank you. I, I appreciate the, 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 the platform here and I'll turn it back over to you. And I'm just looking for a very casual, nice evening with you guys. Thank you. Jeffrey, you know, it was special when I, uh, when I, I actually came up with this topic before I saw your video. And then when I, I saw your video, the title of it, I went, I don't know, I mean, it's very intriguing. And then when I played the video, I'm thinking, man, we must be psychic, you know, because I'm thinking the same thing you're thinking, but I can't put it into words like you do. So uh, it was an excellent video. I appreciate you doing it. And I, and I would recommend everybody on this webinar to make sure that your people, your teams out there see this video. Because, you know, we do suffer. I'm suffering just like everybody else financially. Okay. It, it's depressing. Okay. And, but to me now, and, and you might agree, I hope that time is nothing now. Time means nothing. It shouldn't mean anything to us because we have, you have waited, Marty DeGarmo, Chris Johnson, uh, Sherry. You know, you've got five, six years into this, okay? So what's 90 days, right? But 90 days is probably like a week to you guys, okay? But then again, like you said, there's there were newer people that come in before the cutoff um, that probably are thinking different than we do, okay? I have never lost vision or hope in, in Ashkafara because I believe in him 100%. But you could actually see the pain in his eyes when he was talking 90 days out. He did not want to talk about 90 days out, and I don't blame him, you know, because he's got to have a doctorate in the school of hard knocks. And the things that have happened to him in the last few months, I, I don't I couldn't have the strength that he does and he showed it to us because I, I, I just couldn't have done it you know I, I would have been over there in Dubai shooting somebody probably you know just going out of my going psycho on somebody but uh, how can you forgive somebody or people that have done what they've done to him that you put your trust and faith into? And expect to deliver what he expected of them. And then to find out they didn't. And here we go. You know, to me, it's like a conspiracy. They were sabotaging us. They were conspiring to sabotage us before we could get ahead. And uh, I think Ash is on the right track by going back to the basics. And uh, that's my belief. And uh, I'm going to be here till the end. And I hope everybody on this webinar and on Passive feels the same way. So, again, thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate it very much for letting us use your video. Um, sorry I didn't ask you first, so, but I figured you wouldn't mind. So, on that. Hey, hey Ron. Yes, sir. Just for the record, anything I ever put out, anybody wants to use it, if you want the PowerPoints, if you want the screen, anything you want, I will give it to you, carte blanche, use it, however. You never have to ask me to do anything. All right. Well, thank you very much. That's awesome. And that's Jeffrey Morlock. We appreciate it. Let's give him a big hand, everybody. All right. Hey, big wave. All right. I saw that we had another guy that I, that I respect and admire greatly on here. And um, Mike Ellis, are you here? Uh, I thought you were going to say Marty. Uh, he's last. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, thanks kidding. for joining us. Thanks yeah, for no, joining us. You, know, you put out a lot of videos, great videos. In fact, your videos are the ones that really got me involved in on past because um, you're, you're like Jeffrey and, and Marty and everybody else. You speak from your heart. And, and you're very truthful when you speak because you don't speak of something that you don't believe in. And you don't, you don't really go on a theory. You go on the facts you see and that you believe in. And uh, I want to say we appreciate that. So if you would, would you kind of follow up? You did, I don't think you got to see the video, did you? Yeah, did I saw you get it. to see Jeffrey's. Okay, great. Yeah. 
you'll kind of follow up in, on your version of uh, what's going on and back to the basics. Well, I, I mean, to start with, Ron, you're going to be here till the end. Unpassive will be intergenerational. So you're going to live a long time. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're talking a couple hundred years. So God I'll, bless I'll you. I'll do it. Glad you have that kind of longevity. Yeah. Um, you know, when when we talk about Mr. Mufara, as if there was any time where, at least for me, any time where I didn't understand where he was going and I didn't understand that he would get there. I've always known Ash would get to the place we want to get to. It's who he is. And, and I don't base that off of faith. I base that off of what Mr. Mufar has done over the last five and a half years. And it, it really has been extraordinary. Uh, so as, as far as Mr. Mufar goes, he, he's golden. He will always be golden and he will always outperform, period. It, it's just who he is. It's what he does. Um, you know, you, I, I love your theme, uh, back to the basics, Ron. Uh, and, and Jeffrey was was kind of going back and forth because there, there are two basics we're talking about here. We're talking about the basics of the of the corporate side of Unpassive, but we're also talking about the basics of the affiliate side of Unpassive. And there are two different basics. Uh, and and, and you I can go I can go wherever you want to go, Ron. But I'll just I'll kind of touch on both. You go of both them. ways. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's fine. And and I'll start with the corporate side of Unpassive. Um. Yeah, we know that Mr. Mufara has been through the uh, the ringer over the la over the last year. Uh, when I think about what Mr. M Mr. Mufara has been through over the last year, what Unpassive has been through. I'm really amazed that uh, we never knew anything about it. We, we really didn't. He kept it very, very close to the vest until he was ready to come out and start sharing with us. And that's only been, what, two, three, four weeks? Hasn't been that long a period. And and I love this about Mr. Mufara. He he always, if if there's a problem, if there's something out there that needs to be dealt with, and this was pretty bad, it was really bad, uh, he always, he has the mindset, okay, here's the problem. What's the solution? And once he finds the solution, he rolls it out. And he's in the process of rolling that out right now. What he did with, with Unpassive, it, and, and really I think Ash is probably one of the only individuals in the world that could do this. I, I just don't think there are that many people that could do what Mr. Mubarak has done. As he saw what was happening within on passive, the evil within, and I don't know exactly when he started to see it, but when he started to see it, he understood that he had to change change course and he had to do some other things. And again, this is this is going back to the basics of on passive. What do we do to right the ship and move forward? And it, and it really what it really is amazing what he's done over the last year to be able to do that. And to put in place those things that are going to get us into scenario one, scenario two, scenario three. Okay. And, and I can tell you flat out, that's done. Because of what he's done, because of the people he's dealing with, because of the restructuring of the corporate side of Unpassive, this thing's a done deal. We, we don't have to worry about it. And as, as Jeffrey said, he came out with the, the three scenarios, A, B, C, and one, two, three, however you want to do it. And, and the reason he came out with three different scenarios is because maybe one and two don't work. Maybe, they, maybe they're not ready to do one or two. And then that takes us to the third scenario. The third scenario is the mother load. You guys need to get that. The third scenario, regardless of what happens next week or what happens in September, and, and, I, and I believe some good things are going to be happening in the next week, but regardless to what happens in the next week or so, the third scenario, that C, that number three, it is the mother load. And, and, and it is just going to blow you away. You, you can't understand 
you think Unpassive was good two and a half years ago, three years ago, and it was. It was really, really good. And it was the concept. It was the concept of Mr. Mufar. It was the, you know, he's the brain trust. He put it all together. It was really, really good. When we get to scenario C or three, it is so much better than anything we envisioned a year or, or five years ago or four or three or two years ago. It's it's really, really good. And Mr. Mufar told us that. I, I'm not speculating. This is stuff Mr. Mufar told us if you were listening. It's better than you can imagine. So when we start to think about the the uh, going back to the basics on the corporate side, Mr. Mufar has done that. And he's done it. He's done it on steroids. The, the really cool thing about what Mr. Mufar has right now, and, and he said this on the live, is, is how quickly the people he's working with right now work through the issues and the problems of Unpassive. There's a problem, they find a solution, boom, it's done. And they don't take a year or two or three. This happens very, very quickly. So the, the, the corporate side, getting back to basics, it's there, it's already done. You, you don't have to, you don't even have to think about it. Now, here's what's really, really cool. Um, if we look at scenario one, A, of ash we got a week I, I don't have to speculate about anything nothing and believe me i speculate all the time i know i'm not supposed to do that right now but i speculate all the time and i've got things rolling around in my mind i think i know what's going to happen but i don't need to do that we've got a week and it could be two or three days and mr mufar is going to come out and he's going to explain everything we need to do He's going to tell us all exactly what we need to do. Back to basics. Corporate side, now it's our side, the affiliate side. When, when, when I talk about going back to the basics on the affiliate side, I'm talking about marketing. And I know that's a dirty word. Nobody likes to use that word. You know, nobody can market. It's a dirty word. And, and what we've changed it with is share. Well, I, I love marketing, period. I absolutely love it. And with Unpassive, it's very, very simple. This is why I love Unpassive, guys. It hasn't changed. See, that's the thing about Unpassive. It hasn't changed. It's gotten better. Okay? Hasn't changed. It's gotten better. Unpassive is still here to change your life, to get you to the place where you can find that financial independence that we're all looking for. Okay? That's what Unpassive is here for. And in a week, we're going to know one way or another if it's going to go in a week or, or maybe it goes into September. And by the way, it might not be the end of September. It might be the second day of September. So we're, we're not talking about a lot of time here. And let me hit one more thing before I go on to the marketing side of it. Ash Mufara said that, that the ugliest scenario, the ugliest scenario is three months, right? And he said, you know, and, and he did this in Ash's way. He kind of stumbled through it. But bottom line, he said, we're about two two thirds the way through that. What's that mean? So is it three months or is it one month? Again, I, I'm not going to say anything, but I think it's a lot quicker than 2025. That's not going to happen. I can almost guarantee it. That's not going to happen. And Mr. Mufar, he put it out there in his in his crazy way, in his wonderful Ash way, he put it out there, if you listen. So I, I just wanted to throw that out there. But let's get back to the back to the basics for the affiliates. If next week Ash comes out and oh, the OES back, the OES platform comes back up, Ash is going to give us things to do. Back to the basics. Okay. Unpassive is all about marketing. This is about marketing. He's going to tell us what to do to, to have an advantageous effect on our business, not just on passive, but your business. And as he comes out and does that, everybody here, just listen to the man, do what he tells you to do because he has your, he has your best. He has, he has your self-interest at heart. He really does. He wants you to succeed on passive was built for you to succeed and he will continue down that road. So that that's the first thing. Now, whether it goes to September or if it goes to 
October, maybe. I don't know. Ash Mufar is going to come out, and he's going to guide us this whole way. And, and when we think about on passive, remember what on passive is going to do for each and every one of us. To start with, it's a complete digital system for all of us. Completely digital. All the, all the tools, all the products are going to be there for your business. Okay? It's also 100% automated. Okay? Not only that, but when we start to talk about the markets, when we talk about the global markets, when we talk about there's no cap on the amount of money you can make, when we start talking about all the things that Ash have, has put in front of us, everything's there for you to be successful. Now, when he comes out either next week or September or the following month, what, whatever it is, and he starts telling us what's happening, what Unpassive is going through and what you need to do, I'm not quite sure how all of that is going to be structured because Ash talked about the structure of Unpassive has changed a little bit. Uh, again, I'm not supposed to speculate, so I won't talk about what's going on in my mind. I have two or three different scenarios that could happen as we get into that, uh, that uh, scenario C or three. It's all good. Everything that I think about listening to Ash, what could happen, how the company could change, how the structure could change, it all benefits each and every one of us. And it allows each and every one of us over time to get to that place where you're financially independent. That's what we're all here for initially. That's what we're here for. You, you got to bring in the money. And in on passive, no one, get, no one gets paid unless there's a sale. And that's where the structure that Mr. Mufara shares with us is going to be really, really interesting to hear. And, and, and again, I won't go into what, what I think it might be. Mr. Mufar wants to tell us that when he's ready to tell us. So when you start to talk about back to the basics, and, and this is a subject that you could talk about for literally hours and hours and hours, Ron. There's so many things, and, and I'll give you a couple of different levels, just, just very quickly, and then I'll turn it back over. But there are things, when I heard what the topic was, it just things started going through my mind. There, there, even with the affiliates, there are a couple of levels of back to the basics. There's the affiliate that's coming in, that's understanding the, the philosophy and the vision of OnPassive, and they fall in love with it, and they start to engage with OnPassive. That's one level, and, and they learn to be competent about talking about on passive. And, and that's really, really important. If if you can get back to the basics, if you can be, if you can become competent with the basics, you can develop wealth. It, it really is that simple, guys. And take that to heart. But there's another level, and I'll, I'll use Marty DeGarmo as an example. And we have a few like Marty here. You know, anytime you you start to master the basics and you become competent in the basics. There's always another level you can go to, and there are more basics there, okay? I hope that makes sense. And, and that really never ends. And that's why Unpassive is so exciting. It never ends. There's always other places you can go. But when you think about Marty DeGarmo, uh, and I've known Marty for 10, 12 years. I've worked with Marty that long. And you won't hear this from Marty, but, but I'll, I'll say it for him. He is one of the top marketers in the world. That's a big statement, guys. Marty will never tell you that. I will. And it's it's because he 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 got the back to the basics. He went from one level to another level to another level to another another level. He never stopped learning what he needed to do to become a, a, a successful marketer. This is a really, really hard thing to do, but nothing in life worthwhile is easy, even on passive, as we all know. So the different levels you can go to as you as you start to master the basics of one level and then the next level, you can be a Marty DeGarmo. But when you think about that, it wasn't two or three months. It wasn't six months. It wasn't a year. It was 10 years, guys. That's what it takes to be competent and to be called one of the best in the world. And Marty is that. 
Uh, and, and again, Marty will never tell you that he's he's just he's just, he, he's just never going to say that about himself. But but I can do that because I've been with him for a very, very long time. So when you start to think about marketing, when you start to think about what we do, when you start to think about digital transformation, which we're all going through, there are a lot of different levels that we can get to whatever level you stop at. And I don't think you'll ever stop once you get into impassive because Mr. Mufara, he 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 will motivate in ways you never thought possible. And you're always wanting to, to go further and further and further. But wherever you get, whatever your, your talents and your skills, wherever they take you, within OnPassive, because of what Mr. Mofar has done, because of the structure of OnPassive, because of the structure not only on the business side, but on the affiliate side, you have the opportunity over time to get to that place where you will take care of those financial woes, whatever they are, and then go beyond that. And the and the beyond that, and I can guarantee everybody here will go beyond that. You will, just because of what Mr. Mufara has done. We're in a really, really good place. As you can tell, I, I, I'm excited about where we are. I'm excited about what Mr. Mufara went through in the last year. I'm glad he went through it because he learned so much. And on Passive Today is so much better than it was two and a half years ago. You know, Jeffrey talks about we're going to go back two and a half years. That's, that's where we should be today. Well, we are going to be there very, very quickly, but it's not where we would have been two and a half years ago. It is so far above that because of what Mr. Mufara has done, but because of what he's put together, it is just a cool place to be. And we get to be in front row seats. We get to watch all of it. And Mr. Mufara is going to walk us through step by step, step by step. And you're going to love every step he walks you through. But be ready. On passive is not passive. You have to come in. And you have to be ready to do what you need to do, not only for the company, but for your business. And everything that Mr. Mufara gives you to do will benefit your business. This, is a, this isn't uh, something that uh, is altruistic. It will benefit your business, period. So I'll, I'll leave it there, Ron. There's, there's so many different ways we can go here, but I'll leave it there and let some other people talk. Go ahead. Mike, thank you very much. It's, it, that was great. And um, I could listen to you all night because it just, I, I, I love the vision of your mind and how you think. And uh, so, so you're you calling and, me weird, uh, right? No, in a good way, though. <laughs> I'm kidding you, Ron. <laughs> in a good way. Mike, thanks again for sharing. It was excellent. Let's go to somebody else that's kind of close to these, these guys. Uh, been traveling a lot. I think she knows how to fish, so he tries to go all over the place and uh, catch fish. But uh, you see him on his lives, and he's always driving the boat instead of having a, a line in the water. So I don't know how he can call himself a fisherman. But anyways, Chris Johnson, if you would come on to the screen with me. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Minnow. Thanks, Jeffrey. Thanks. Hey, hey listen, Mr. Orange. Yeah, I'm I want to know done. something real quick before you get into the your philosophies about on passive. You know, how come every time we see you fishing, you're never fishing? It's because I can't seem to catch a fish lately, so I go for a boat ride. <laughs> so you do a lot more sightseeing than you do fishing. No, I, I actually do a lot of fishing, but I just here's the true story. I go out at the worst times. I should be going out in the morning, but I have my lives I got to do, so I don't. And then I usually should be going out at night. When I did go out at night, I caught fish. But I usually go between one and five, which is the worst time to go fishing, to be honest with you. But that's okay. I can have plenty. Listen, you need to come to Florida, and, and I'll teach you how to bass fish, okay? If I'm going to Florida, I'm going to the ocean, man. You keep your bass. Oh, so okay. All right, Chris. <laughs> well, if you would share some views with us on uh you know, wow. your conversations and your thoughts and stuff that's going on right now. Well, going back I, to the I, basics. I love Jeffrey's video. I always like what Mike has to say. Both these guys are rock stars in my book. Uh, I will call them legends, even though one of them gets mad at me when I say it, Mike. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, <laughs> back, back to the basics is, is a term that I've used pretty much my whole working career. And I'll give you a quick example, then I'll jump into a passive. Back to the basics for me, was a big term that I used all the time. 
Um, in the auto industry, you have a lot of managers that move in and out, in and out, in and out. They're, they come, they don't like it, they quit, we get another manager. So I was there for 32 years. I knew pretty much about everything. So when they would come out, a new manager said, this is the way I would do it. Okay, not a problem. I'll do whatever you want me to do. And probably literally 99% of the time it did not work. And then they would come out and yell at me. And I'd say, well, I, I said, can you just let me do what I do? I want to go back to the basics. Um, and most of the time that worked out. I had some pretty good bosses that eventually started trusting what I was doing and um, believed in doing everything right for the company. I had people that um, would come out and work with me and walk away and thought they should get paid. And back to the basics, you're not getting paid. That's just how I was. If I was there and you were supposed to be there, then you should be there. That's how I looked at. So I've always gone back to the basics. And what is back to the basics means to me is you always start somewhere, but you can say you're back to the basics and you can always come back to back to the basics and then redo your steps of, Hey, what went wrong or what did you do wrong? So back to the basics is a great thing to always fall back on and say, okay, not necessarily start over, even though I'm going to use those words, Let's start over again and let's see what happened. Let's go back and see what was working, uh, what didn't work, what could work. But as uh, Ash says many times, you have to take risks. Sometimes you have to sail off into uncharted waters because something you know might work. And if it doesn't, you go back to the basics. But you have to take risks here and there. Um, as both the, the first two gentlemen, Mike and, and Jeffrey said, some people just wanted to go off in their own direction and do what they wanted to do. Um, Ash caught it, um, came out, seen what was going on, uh, and said, we got to go back to the basics. Uh, in other words, they weren't seeing what he wanted them to do. They didn't see his vision. And this is what I believe he's saying, as I had to take it over again and put it right on the right track. Uh, back to the basics is something that every one of us can do in every one of our lives. You know, something's not working in your household. Uh, you can go back to the basics. What did I do wrong? We can always say that. What did I do wrong? Because that's what I did my whole life. God, what did I do wrong? What did I miss? You know, what did I miss? I got to go back and rethink this. And I, as a man, I could say this and every one of, every one of you will get a chuckle. We got our kids Christmas we don't need directions. We can put it together. And there's always one or two parts that's supposed to be somewhere else. And like, what do we say? Uh Oh, I should have read the direction. Basically back to the basics. Uh, I did that a million times. Matter of fact, I still do it. Um, I've tore motors apart, small motors. I've never done a car motor and I was pretty good at it. But at, every once in a while, I would miss, I miss a part on there. And I, oh man, I knew that. Back to the basics, go back to the drawing board. What didn't I put on? I should have put on this. So it's it's really part of everyone's life, back to the basics, because none of us are perfect. Um, literally, no one is perfect. I'm going to say that. There was one man, and you all know who he was. Um, and uh, Ash Mafara had, had said, you know, I, I got dubbed, uh, back to the basics. Uh, I got fooled, back to the basics. Uh, he knew what he had to do. Uh, he's taking control of that situation. And it's uh, it's sad. I mean, it really breaks my heart because I just know a lot of people in a passive that really, really need this, want this like yesterday, the day before, a month ago. And you've heard all of us say it. I'll say it again, is whatever happened, and I'm sure we'll find out in the future, uh, these people stole people's dreams. They took away the help they needed right now. I mean, right now you have Bangladesh going through a huge crisis with flooding. I chatted with Mafus a little bit today. And, uh, you know, if we would have started two years prior to go, we would have a lot of money generated to actually help out Bangladesh. So uh, if you do, and I'm going to put this out there, if you do want to donate or help out Mafus, you can go to his uh Facebook and you can check that out, but that's, that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be helping each other back to the basics. I think if governments would go back a hundred years, 50 years 
and really see how what they really messed up for the world. And and like I said, they didn't just mess up everything. I mean, not everything's perfect, of course, but they don't really look at back to the basics. Back to the basics for me in a, in a global world is uh, first things first, why are people starving? Why are people starving? Why are people struggling? Uh, they don't look at back to the basics. I wish I'd have someone come on and say, we're going back to the basics, back to the original uh, constitution and all that fun stuff. And I'm not turning this political. I'm just saying, using it as example. Um, you know, let, let, and I'm going to change the subject a little bit. Uh, I went to a casino for the first time in my gosh, eight years. Uh, my son and I, we were up north. And I don't normally do that stuff. And he said, uh, can we go try it? Let's go. I said, okay. And he won some money, won $800. I'm not going to, I'll say it, which good for him. Uh, and he looked at me and I said, you're ready to go. And he looked at me again. I said, listen, I'm going to tell you something. Never, ever get addicted to the win. That's what keeps bringing you back here because that's not always going to happen. Uh, people get addicted to winning that big money. Oh, I could do it again. And then they go back and that $800, two hours later is down to two bucks. Uh, how do I know that? From experience. Many times in Las Vegas. I never, the only people that really win in the casinos is the casino owner. I'm sure you heard that before. But when I think about it passive, and I'm not comparing it to a casino, uh, on passive back to the basics is a win-win situation. You've heard it all the time. Uh, no matter how many times you pull that slot handle and passive, uh, you're going to win. Uh, you're not putting money constantly into unpassive. A lot of people don't still don't understand that. A lot of our, what we call the nay naysayers uh, still have never said that. They, well, we, we're not, we're not, we haven't been given money as far for five years, four years, three years, whatever. And uh, that's what I probably get confused on what, what people uh, say we're, we're a cult, whatever. Uh, and, and I'm not going to kid you. It, it, it tears me apart when I hear that kind of stuff. Are there other companies blooming right now? Sure they are, but there's always going to be other companies blooming. Um, most of those companies went through the same struggles that we're going through now. Uh, we all know now for a fact, even in Impassive, there was corruption. Ash Mafara, uh, he caught it. And uh, I'm happy that he did, but he did say something uh, last week. Is it, he glad He was glad that it happened. It's going to better us. It's going to take us back back to the basics, uh, climb back up that ladder and see what, what rung we missed. I mean, there's a lot you could say. I agree with Mike. You could talk about this forever. Uh, but it's it's a very, very important thing to me as uh, the loyalness, the loyal people in this company. Yeah, we might have 1,400,000 uh, founders or whatever you want to call them, early birds. I mean, we got so many names, I get confused. But not all of them are loyal. Uh, like like Jeffrey was bringing out, you know, there's some people, and, and I agree with Jeffrey 100%. Um, you're still in it no matter what. Uh, if you want to take a break, it's okay to take a break because it's not going to change. Because uh, I, I'll use me because I don't want to call out names. If Chris Johnson is tired and burned out of of doing this. Chris Johnson is just going to take a break, but I'm not going to quit on it. I just might need to step away for a minute and, and, and take a breather. And then I think if people step away and just not pay attention, you know, we got a lot of negative channels that say a lot of bad things about us and uh, too bad for them that they have to do stuff like that. But that's, that's the world. I mean, that really is the world. No matter what we do, Someone's going to say something bad. You've heard us say that a million times, but I, I will say it again is I believe in, I'm just going to say it. I believe in Ash Mafara uh, because everything, listen, how do I say this? Ash Mafara has always given us great advice. As far as, as long as I can remember, he's asked us to, uh, of course, dream bigger, which is unheard of in most cases. He's asked us to get in the best shape of your life. I've watched people in this company transform themselves from uh, Lori Lund quitting smoking, myself, Marty, John White, uh, Narelle Workon, changing their eating habits and just like, wow. Now, 
to me, that's worth billions of dollars right there to see what a company that really no one's made any money from, but believe in it, have changed. The positiveness, that's even a word. Is that a word, Mike? You know, I can't say those words. Okay. <laughs> uh, has come out of impassive. But I still say to anyone that really is like having second thoughts, they just step away for it for a couple minutes. Listen, my big head, Marty's big head, Red's big head, uh, Julie, Michael, Ron, Minno, Lister, Norell, Jeffrey, all these people, if something happens or pops, you're going to know about it because there's like 50 billion Facebook groups that say, oh, my God, we're back. It's on. So take take a break. That's all. Uh, I went on a little yeehaw here, not necessarily for a vacation. The second part was a little bit for me because you know why? I kind of need a break from my personal life, and I just wanted to get away for a little bit. But back to the basics is uh, is a wonderful thing. I really have used that my whole life. And if you all think about it tonight, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself, what can I do to go back to the basics that's going to change my life better? You already made the step of getting into impassive. I don't care what anyone says. You could call me crazy, call me names. I got family that does it, friends that do it, just like you all. But I'm still here. I'm still here. Why? Because I believe in it. Why? Because there's there's at least a million other people who believe in it. Maybe they're not always, maybe they're a little upset it hasn't happened yet. But I think in the future, when Ash talks about what really happened, I think people have more of an understanding of, of what's going on in this company. Uh, I'm I I think I understand it. I'd be out for what he's saying. I think I get I get a little bit. But does that defer me to say I better go hide in the closet? I better not turn on my computer. Hell no. I'm going to keep doing this like you're all going to get do this. I'm not afraid of anybody that says something bad about me. Do I like when they say bad things about any of you or Ash before? I don't. I'd rather them beat on me all day than, than pick on my friends. But that's what impassive Indians do, if that's even a word. I don't even know who made that one up, but I know Ash is terrible at making little <laughs> things, which you see I tease them all about all the time about. But this is a great company, guys. And really, all he's ever asked us to do is just wait and be patient. Let me get this done. Now it's back to the basics. Some things happen, all right? But in my 32 years at Ford Motor Company, man, I had crap like this, excuse me, stuff like this happen every single day. And guess what? I stayed there for 32 years. Some things that affected me, something that, that didn't it, uh, affect me. But I just didn't give up. I'm like, man, 32 years is nothing. I can do it, boy. It, it goes by fast. I'm not going to lie. But- Every business, every company, every family go through something with a little bit of corruption in it. And if you say you've never had that, you're wrong. Because every one of you work for somebody and you, you've seen a little bit of wrong in what they were doing. Or uh, Ash Mafar is about us. He's about family. He's about changing things for the better. And people that don't see that, they're blind. I feel sorry for them. But... I will say this again. I don't turn anyone away from a passive, unit, even though some people I don't care for or I don't like for what they say, but they're all coming back. I promise you that. Ron, I'm sorry, I rattled on. Again, Mike and uh, Jeffrey, thank you for the phenomenal speech and whoever else talks. Minnow, thank you very much also. You know, uh, you. Chris, I've never, heard a, I've never heard a pumpkin go so long and speak so much, but uh, well, Marty's been you for sharing me. on your he said to me, hey, you know, you know, Ron, you know what Marty's texting me? I said, well, I haven't. I said, I've, I just turned my camera on. He goes, OK, can you turn your shirt off then? <laughs> Great. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate you sharing with this. And uh, it's uh, it's coming. Let me hear you say that again. I'm it's not coming. allowed to say that anymore. I can say this. We're back, baby. We are back. OK. All right. All right. That sounds good. Chris, thank you again. But what I want to do is I'm going to go to one more guy that I really love, and then I'm going to let Minnow have some things to share with us. And then if we have some time, we might open it up for some questions of these guys. But tonight was mainly you, 
tell you all out there that we're going back to the basics and from the guys that we respect. So just hang in there. And right now I'm going to call on my dear friend from Jersey, the head of the Unpassive um, Mafia, uh, Marty DeGarm. Oh, sure. I like that title. Um, no, I, I haven't been able to be involved at all tonight because of stuff going on here, but I've got an open window. I know it's back to basics. Um, yeah, I, I realized a long time ago that Ash Lutara has a, uh, a very rare pair of glasses. They're rose-colored, and he only sees good in people. And when you wear those rose-colored glasses, sometimes you get burnt by evil people because he's not looking for that. So it creeps up and grabs you. Uh, he'll never change. And when you say back to basics, Ash now, knowing what he knows, whatever that might be, he knows that somewhere along this path, the last couple of years, little things that kind of clicked in his head, now he knows, okay, that's what that really meant. He had to take his glasses off for a minute. And he goes, okay, that's what that meant. The next time, that's what that meant. So he has a picture of the bad area, however long it might have been. Probably giving clues, but he had the glasses on. He looked at the positive in everybody. When somebody first comes on or somebody first meets Ash, he digs as hard as he can to find the good in that person. That's who he is. I don't want that to change. Even though he got burnt, got beat up, it, it, it happens. But, you know, if um, if you don't take a calculated risk, you become average. You can never move ahead if you don't take that calculated risk. And during that calculated risk, especially if you have those very special glasses on, you're going to get burnt. You are going to get burnt. Now. Did he learn? Absolutely. And when we find out, we're all going to learn. It happened to all of us. Because believe it or not, we're all drawn in here by caring about someone else more than we care about ourselves. That's why we're here. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what country you're from. Think about everybody that's here. What do we have in common in here? We saw on passive from the heart, not from the eyes. Because logically... It probably didn't make sense to people. And that's good for me because it did for me and it did for a million four hundred thousand other people. And that's why we're here. So ask if we're following him, we understand him because we're like him. I was he extremely caring and loving and looking for good? Yes, absolutely. Do I want him to change? No. Do I feel bad that bad things happen? Absolutely. It, it was gut-wrenching. It's like it happened to a family member. Am I mad over it? Yes. If I, if I was 20 years younger, I'd be body slamming some people somewhere. I can tell you that right now. But he knows what happened because I don't have those glasses, okay? They're a little bit shaded, but they're not rose-colored. I love people. I believe in people, but I don't, I'm not at that level. I'm glad he is. That's what I love him for. Because he always looks at the good in everything. He doesn't even understand evil. It's a different language to him. So when it happens to him, he's so caught off guard. Wait, that, that couldn't have happened. Why, why would somebody do that? He doesn't get it. It's sad, but it's true. So I'm glad he's that way. Now, what do we do in, in return? Well, he's about to make all of us the best marketers in the world. You're going to push a button. It's all on automated. You point here, point here, click, click, click. And you take years and years of trying to figure out this moving target and you get it in automated, in automation. That's where we're at. All we were ever asked to do while he's clearing the land. Remember, he didn't build a business. He had to clear the area before he built it because it's never been done before. He couldn't go in a book. He couldn't look it up. He couldn't go to other business people and say, hey, I want to build a business like this. 
For one thing, they'd say, you're absolutely insane until they saw his glasses. I said, oh, okay, I get it. But anyway, he built this business, clearing the land, getting rid of the landmines, making the, the road flat so we could walk on smooth ground in a sunny day. All we need to do is keep the faith, follow him. He will give instructions. And we need to be good soldiers, men and women, and do what he needs done to push this thing over the, the goal line. And when we do, we all score. We all score. Whatever I can do, whatever Mike Ellis can do, Dan Street, and anybody else that I can share with you to help you go get the extra point, kick a field goal, whatever little points, I, we're going to offer that to people. I want everyone to win. I failed as a marketer because I worry too much about the people that we brought in can't do what we're doing. It was a horrible feeling. First, it was the, the, the race to learn. And then when you learn, you find out what you know doesn't feel that good. Because at that point, now you treat people as 101, 102, 103, 104, 1001, 1000. That's how you treat them. You talk to their face, but you can't mean what you say. Not in MLM, I'm sorry. A lot of people get mad at me when I say it. They got mad at me when I said it when I was in MLM. But it's the facts. Here, Ash Mupara built a business for himself and scaled it so all of us can have the same business. So if you want to know what Ash does, you're getting that right now. You all are all going to own your own business exactly how Ash would build it for himself, even better. So we're back to basics because he went back and he saw these little spurts, knowing what he knows now. Ah, oh, this is when that started. And because he was smart, he might have rose colored glasses. He might love people too much. He might trust people too much, but he's not stupid. And he went back and said, okay, we got to go back to here. And like Mike Ellis said, I did hear that part of it. When we go to the next chapter, we're going to be blown away. Because through that mistake or through those issues, he knows what good is. He was he was unsatisfied probably for two years. But he because he loved people and he trusted people and believed they meant the best for the company. He held on as long as he possibly could. That's who Ash is. The least we can do is march behind him. We can at least be the wind beneath his wings. And that's absolutely what I'm going to do. And I don't care what he does or what he wants to do. I've been doing this for a long, long time. There is no one on the planet that would do what Ash is doing for us right now. No one. Okay, I'm done. Really? Yeah, I'm done. All right. We can hey, listen hey, Ron, to you more me, if you want to speak. Ron, let me say ahead, a couple things just, just real quick. I, you know, when I listen to Go Marty, he, just, he sparks things in my mind. And th there are things that are really, really important for you to understand. You know, I, I talked about how good Marty is. And, and Marty's very, very good. I, I, I've been working with him probably too long, but he's very, very good at what he does. Now think of what Mr. Mufara has done. Not in the last five and a half years, but the last year. What Mr. Mufar has done for each and every one of us, and, and this is so cool. If you get this, you're, you're just you're not going to sleep tonight. What Mr. Mufara has done has has made you as good as Marty is, and it took Marty 12 years to get where he's at today. You're going to be able to do what Marty does, what I do, what Dan does, what what Jeffrey does. What a lot of people do within on passive, you're going to have that same ability simply because of what Mr. Mufara has done, the products that he's made for us, and he's going to show us how to use them, how to make them very, very effective. And then we start talking about the traffic, which Marty is a genius when it comes to traffic. You have all of that, and it didn't take you 10 to 12 years. Okay, maybe you've been on passive five years. Okay, that's okay. Live with it. It only took you five years. It didn't take you 10 or 12 years. But as we come into on passive, as, as we get into the, to the C scenario, 
everybody here is going to be able to do what Marty's been, what Marty, what it took Marty to do in 12 years. That is extraordinary. And not only that, but the success that's going to bring. You shouldn't sleep tonight, guys. The success that's going to bring each and every one of you. And when I talk about success, I'm talking about money. You're going to be ecstatic. And this is all the brilliance of Mr. Ash Mufar, as Marty said. He put it together for himself, and then he gave it all to us. It really is that simple. I don't know anybody that has that kind of heart that would do that for the people in on passive. It's it's they're just not out there. They're 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 not out there at all. Ash is unique, period. Ron, I'll turn it back to you. I, I just wanted to put that in real, real quick. But let me put a Mike, disclaimer in real quick. I'm not that good. Okay. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not. You can say what you want, Marty, but we have our own opinion. Okay. <laughs> Marty, but, thanks but, for sharing. But, Mike, thanks for but, sharing but with us. The reason the reason Marty's that good is because of Dan and Mike. All right. And Don. <laughs> that was a joke, guys. That was a joke. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Okay, before we go to my beautiful co-host, Minu, uh, Jeffrey, any follow-ups? What you've heard? You're good? All righty. Minu? Share some thoughts with us, would you? Thank you. I, I have been listening over and over to Mr. Ash. To, and so I just echo what he said and to just remind myself where we are. Back to basic, Mr. Ash is taking us back to the time when uh, he empowered people to dream again, creating a wonderful atmosphere that resonated on many levels talked about being fully committed to our mission and ready to press press on with renewed energy, bringing that original positive momentum back into full force. That's back to basic. Returning to good vibes, rekindling the optimum harmony. Those were his words, remember? and collective spirit that made those early moments so special. As Mr. Ash said, our focus is on hope and moving forward. It's not about dwelling on setbacks, but about pushing ahead with renewed belief in what is possible. And stay excited, stay engaged. After everybody has everything that they said, I don't know what else to say. Thank you. Thank you, Manu. I appreciate it. I'm going to go back to gallery view right now. And um, it is 1030. We can go to uh, 11 o'clock if we want to, but uh, I'm going to open it up for people to ask these guys some questions if you want. But I'm, there's one rule. From now until whatever happens, do not call these guys and ask them, when's it going to happen? That was like asking them, when are we going to launch? Okay? That's not allowed anymore. Okay? That's a violation. So do not call these guys and say, when's it going to happen? Well, he said this, and he said that. When's it going to launch? Folks, we're beyond that. We're beyond that, so please. So if you want to ask a question, uh, raise your hand. Since we're on this platform, y'all have a hand. And uh, two minutes. Well, Marty just raised his hand, so 10 minutes, okay? And no, I just kidding. Marty, go ahead. Yeah, I May I say something before you say something, Marty? Okay. Um, yeah. Even though you said we have half an hour left, but um, I'm willing to stay here, Ron, if you have to go to as okay. long right. as everybody no wants to stay. This is you a are, platform you are everybody the... looks forward to. It's once a week. We have stars here on the stage. I will be here. So back okay, to you. We'll go. we'll go. That's no problem. You are the webinar queen, though, okay? 
Go ahead, Marty. Yeah, I have one question, Jeffrey. When are we going to launch? I'm just kidding. I'm joking, oh, Jeffrey. <laughs> Weren't you listening? Mike just told us. <laughs> uh, actually, Jeffrey, you you told us at the very beginning. We we already know all that. You don't need. No one needs to ask that question. We know it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you guys are terrible. So you violated the rules right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> I tell you. All right. Well, let's go to the the the, the land of the big rabbits, Miss Norella Warkan. Go ahead, Norella. Thank you, thank you, Ron. Hello, everyone, and lovely to see you all. Uh, thank you to those who've spoken and shared. I think it's very male dominated tonight, so I'm going to bring in a little bit of a feminine here, <laughs> just to sort of even it up a little bit. Sorry, Manu, your your um, sharing is always beautiful. I don't mean that. It just seems to be a lot of gentlemen talking tonight, except for Chris because he swings both ways and shows his emotions. So, <laughs> uh, but thank you. Um, I just wanted to, I suppose, bring to light because when I first heard your topic, I thought back to basics, what the heck can I talk about about that? You know, like how do you sort of resonate with what that topic is? And there was so much shared tonight, um, both Jeffrey, thank you so much for doing that video with Ash. It really stands out as a um, understandable, I suppose, in breaking it down that little bit more because a lot of us are pretty basic people. <laughs> Um, so sometimes it's nice to be able to have that person bring it about um, for us to understand better. And um, Mike Ellis, you're always amazing because you give us you give us what you uh, you give us what we need and a little bit more. <laughs> and it's it's up to us to find out what that little bit more is. So I really enjoy that. But what I when I thought about it, I thought back to basic. Some people think of it as if it's a negative. OK, they don't look at that as being a positive. They look at it as being a negative. So oh, I had to go back to basics. We had to start again, you know, that platform. But base going back to basics is a safe environment. It's a secure starting point, a platform for where we can go back when things do go wrong in our life. And believe you me, I've had many of those in my life. You know where and you can look at this yourself. Look at your own life. Where did you have those places that? You know, things went wrong. You know, somebody said something wrong. You had a relationship breakup. You had all of these things happen in your life. Your business fell apart. You, you know, your partner ran off with the secretary's daughter. You know, like there's things in your life and you forget to look back at those things. I always say never look back because you're not going that way, right? But you need to look back to see how far you've come from the choices that you had to make at those times. So we all made, uh, what I wrote down is we were all in the right place at the right time. Remember that when you made a choice to come into Unpassive, you were in the right place at the right time. Who you came in, who, what tape you listened to, you know, what video you watched, whatever, it's got nothing to do with it. You were in the right place at the right time because you got the right heart. And I said this the other day that you, you, you were all still here. What are you here for? If you've got something else better, if you've got something else, you know, that that uh, things are happening or uh, life is and better doing something else, right, then what are you still here for? Because you made a decision how long ago, you know, three, four, five, six years ago, that this sounded like something you were looking for. And along the way, you grew and when you look back, you go, oh, my gosh, that's when I grew and I came out there and I did this and I said that. And then you grew a little bit more. And sometimes Ash would tell us stuff and it didn't happen because we ourselves know in our own life that we can say things and sometimes they don't happen. We tell our children stuff and it didn't happen. And we're sad and we're sorry about that. But we can't go back and change it. Nobody here that I know of can go back and change a day prior to or a minute prior to where they are now. You know, we can look back and see how far we've come. I know my growth in on passive has been immense and it's taken time. And yes, I was teary. And yes, I was this. And yes, I was that, you know, just like we all were. And just like I see the growth in many others. 
So going back to basics isn't a negative. It's coming back to a place of safety, a place of security where we can say, let's do this. It's a it's a really solid platform. OK, because that's what Ash built right from the beginning was a very solid platform. So uh, thank you for having me here. Um, I hope I came of a little bit of value from a feminine side. Um, but, yeah, just take a look at, you know, where you've come from. <laughs> and you too, Chris. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ron. Thank so, you, Manu. Thank you. Yeah, you so know, Narelle, I didn't know I was the only one that thought that about Chris, but uh, thank you for bringing <laughs> that up. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Sherry, um, your version of Back to the Basics, please. Well, <clears throat> it's been so wonderful just listening to everybody else that um, I know my two cents matters. <laughs> <laughs> as they say, because for one thing, you all matter. And back to the basic is the main reason why Ash had this, created this, was to help others, to help our world. I know everybody knows I'm going to say what I'm going to say already, but that's that's the basic main reason why he created this. And I think as things went on, things kind of slipped through. And, and I know that he had different... He has, he has like three plans for the same project. So you, he has already things, you know, if that one didn't work, this one will work. If that one didn't work, this one will work. So he had backups for everything. <clears throat> so um, back to the basics to me means so much because the creation of why he made this is the main important part, like you were saying, uh, Manu, and also everybody else is saying, it can be mean so many things. But the basic to me in this company is to help correct the corruption. And then he caught corruption. I remember him saying like a couple times on the webinars the past couple months, he's finding out about the corruption. And I think he met on things he was trying to do that were kind of blocking him because we're doing it different than anybody else. It's not about the money. It's about helping the world. And I think that he's caught on to like, he's found a lot of pitfalls in that. And he was finding out because he even said himself that there were so many uh, corruption, like he knew there was corruption, but he didn't realize how bad it was. And so he kind of figured that out also in throughout his little journey of our own company, which there always is some um, little bad apples in, in every company. <clears throat> Just happened we had a couple of more than we expected. <laughs> so, uh, but, and Ash is so loving and like what, what Marty was saying and um, he'll forgive them. And in life, you have to, I've been through some things and uh, I've had to forgive the other person. I, I'm not making this about me or anything, but <clears throat> in life, we get hurt and people hurt us. Maybe not intentionally. Maybe they were brought up that way. Who knows? But that's why one of my main things that I thank God for this platform um, that that Ash has created, I'm able to reach more people. And I never knew that that was my passion is to let people know they're loved, they're important and they matter. And I don't know if that just came from all the different scenario things that happened to me in life, but I always, I've always had to forgive them. So I know Ash is forgiving them. Sure, it still will hurt. Sure, he may still think about it, especially since it hurt not, <clears throat> not just him but employees and it hurt not just employees but it hurt the pioneers in this company so and he he's trying to get somewhere to help our world to be better and then all this kind of kind of cr things just kind of tumbled and crash but so we're back to the basics meaning we're moving forward, which I knew was still going to happen. I had no oops, bumps about it, no matter when he said there's a little bump in the road, no matter if he said, oh, it's going to take this amount of time. I don't care because I know what this is going to do for the world, for the earth, for the people. 
And that's back to the basics, is remembering that the people matter in this world. You matter in this world. Your little saying, even if you think you're saying something that doesn't matter, it matters to somebody. Maybe that little thing you said, like, Narelle, you, you, you always touch me somehow. You said something, you always touch me somehow. Um, so no matter, even though you think you're not important and saying something is important, you have something that's important that might be touching somebody else. So remember that, that you're important. And, and we are, the basics is back to helping our world to be more loving more peaceful and more equal let's help our world i love that we're not we're helping to correct the corruption and helping humanity and i love everything that you guys do jeffrey you're phenomenal and mike you as well and marty every, everybody brings their own little flavor and brings it all back and and Darrell and and, and ron you too as well everybody who spoke you bring your own flavor and it it touches somebody in every each and every little way. Thank you so much. I love you guys all pieces. And remember, you matter. Thank you very much, Sherry. That was beautiful. You know, Sherry, I think we were the luckiest of a lot of people because you, myself, Chris, Jeffrey, um, you have we have been actually been able to sit down with Mr. McFarrah face to face meet him, hear him, and see in his eyes that he is a, a man of, of passion and heart, okay? Businesses at the, at the end of the line for him, okay? People is his passion. And we were able to see that in Boston, and I feel very, very blessed to be able to be one of them that went to Boston. I really like what he said during 360. The biggest thing that really caught me is when you say he forgives. Bobby does. I don't know. Okay. It would be very hard for me to do that. Uh, maybe it's because I'm just a rusty old cop. Okay. But um, I've seen a lot of corruption in my time. I've seen a lot of crime in my time. So that that that's what made me a skeptic. But I've never had that feeling since I've joined on passive from the first time that I spoke with him or watched him or met him in person. When I met him in person, just reinforced it. Okay. That this guy is legit. He is speaking from a heart. That's, that's, that's huge. Okay. And, and he means what he means, what he says. So, but the thing that got me, what he said was no matter what happens, these people will face their final judgment. Okay. And that meant so much to me when he brought it back to that point and say, I can forgive. We don't know how much justice, you know, they're going to have to face some justice over what they did. But the ultimate justice is from their maker and our maker. Okay. And, um, if I was them, I'd be shaking in their shoes. I don't know about you guys, but I would be I would be shaking in my shoes. So who else wants to speak? Just raise your hand. Okay. Uh, how about Myra? Myra, you want to say something? Thank you, Ron, and hello, everybody. Uh, I wasn't going to say anything because you all have said it all. I mean, it's like repeating things and, and in my own words, and the words are not going to be exactly the same because my Spanglish is not, <laughs> it never come across the right way, you know? But I just, every time I think about what's happening and, and, and I think about what I should say about the two years that we kind of lost, it, it makes me sad. It makes me sad, not because of me, because I'm struggling. We are all here for the same reason. But it makes me sad for all the people that are actually suffering, waiting for this to really unbuild so they can have the chance of their lifetime, you know? It's that, that's what makes me sad. But then again, uh, things are always going to happen, especially in business, because 
you know, this is the only way people grow up in business, in, in the personal level and in business as well. And I was just reading the other day something about, I don't know if I'm going to go off the subject, but I was I was uh, reading something about the, the painter, uh, Monet. You know, he was an impressionist style, a style of kind of paint. I don't know if you're familiar with that. And I was I was reading about it, and I saw that when he started his painting, uh, was another painter at the uh, at the time, and the last name was similar. Was I think was Manet instead of Monet, and he was accusing him of not painting, you know, of making the paint, the not finish his painting. His painting was not original; it was just like a sloppy, right? And he still went on. Monet still went, went on, named his painting Impressionist style art, and he made millions with it. Just because one man, which was Manet, didn't recognize, didn't recognize the change that was needed to, to happen in, in, the, in the art, right? That's what I thought, right? And I say, there are similar stories that are, you know, even though if they don't relate exactly, but the analogy is the same. People are always going to attack you, even in, in, in not only in business, you know, in business it's obvious to me anyway, even in the personal level, they attack you if, they do, if you're doing well. So, you know, this is a challenge that, that we all have to have the, the strength, the, 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 the tenacity, the, the, you know, the focus like Mr. Ash has to overcome all those problems, right? It's like, you know, going back to, to the formula, I mean, you you want you're looking for a solution, but you know, in the in the middle of looking for the solution, you confront all these problems and you don't get it until you go back to the formula and you understand that you you are looking for what you started with, the formula. You know, you want a business for everybody, you want good people, and then you're gonna have a solution that you you're seeking. But you know, you, he removed the problem. The problem is already out of the picture and he said it already. He clarified for us. And, you know, we're just so happy to hear that. And especially for the, the people in all these causes that are waiting for us to do something to really uplift hum humanity the way that he wants us to, right? It's just, you know, it, it's, it's, it just kind of got me so sad. But then again, I'm, I'm, I'm never doubting anything. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here, you know, I'm always here. And I don't have the marketing side. I don't have the, the, the business mindset, but I'm not that, that kind of positive either because I know Mother Teresa. I wouldn't be slapping a few faces, you know, if I come from enemies that way, you know. I, but at the end, we, we forgive because we wanted to help ourselves and we don't want it to have the pain or hate. So that's why we forgive. We forget to, we forget to help us in the process, you know. We be better and we are we release because those haters are not going to be released because they're just haters and they are the one carrying carrying the weight. You know, we we are lucky because we we're gonna forgive them. We are gonna forgive them because they're the one suffering, right? I just I just want the the the, the process to continue and again back to the basis, the simple life, the simple formula of you know of, of giving us the opportunity. They love the unity, and then we're all happy. And we're all going to do everything possible to, to uplift humanity in our simple and little ways. And, and I think it's going to be big, because that's my dream, and, and I think I'm going to accomplish my dream in my end. So I will, I will love to see everybody doing the same, because it's time. It's really time to, to rise and shine, you know, and help, and help others do the same. And, Okay, sorry, thank you. That's my little No, that was beautiful. Thank you very much. That was great. I wanna I wanna congratulate somebody on here, another lady that uh is crossing a milestone uh, of of quitting smoking, which if anybody has smoked before, it is the hardest. It's kind of like an alcoholic trying to uh get off of alcohol or a drug addict. Because uh, it's basically a drug. Know, tobacco, nicotine. So, I wanna I wanna congratulate Lori Lunn, and I want her to come on and say a few words about uh, what she thinks about all this. And back to the basics. Well, 
Well, it's uh, definitely back to the basics for me. You know, it's I've been so I, I've struggled the day, you know, I keep telling myself I've got to stop. I've got to stop. I've got to stop. I could go on and every year after year, you know, and give excuses of to why I kept going, you know, but um, you just got to make up your mind and do it. And and I did that. And and that now that I've made it up totally. I've made it up on other things, you know, like back in the day, I, I drank beer, you know, during, you know, just, I gave that up. I had a plan to, you know, lose weight or whatever, but, and, and you make those choices in life, you know, you can regret them, but, you know, you've just got to go on and be, get stronger and, and, and break out of the, what you've accomplished you know it, it, it's a great accomplishment for me but um you know i've i've stuck here with ash and everyone here and like i said before just the meeting everyone in 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 the family orientation that we have together you know is is huge to me as um building something bigger than our basics, what we started at. I mean, we've, now that we're back to basics, um, this is going to be amazing, you know, and um, I'm glad that all the, uh, the worms have been taken out of the apple. And um, I'll tell you what, that core is a solid core. And um, people just need to, uh, when they open their eyes and they see, the apples falling, you know, they're going to say, Oh, Oh my goodness. This is, um, this is on. And, you know, they're going to have to either come in and, and decide to, uh, understand or, or not. But anyways, um, everybody has said everything. I just, it's been an amazing journey. And this journey still is is just beginning, and it's the perfect timing. Um, it couldn't have been timed any more perfect than everything that's going on in the world, you know, right now. Um, it wouldn't have been right before, but I think. Um, anyways, but uh, you know, I'm uh, going through some things myself, you know, struggles, but you know, I'm finding other doors, and I gotta. I got to punch through them and <clears throat> I'm uh, working again, doing other than my eBay because, you know, I was doing okay, but just not good enough. I got to get it a little bit better. So I went out and uh, got me another driving job and I'll be helping others and elderly and getting them to their doctor's appointments. And, you know, and I enjoy do that. I enjoy doing that um, just because, uh, I'm going to get old someday. I surely hope somebody's going to take care of, you know, good care of me. You know, they better. I'm going to make sure of it. <laughs> but um, anyways, I am here 100%. I'm standing behind Ash Mafara. I will never leave his side nor yours. And, um, you know, I might be working, you know, and, and, and not be able to jump on a few things, but I am here and I, and I, I know what's going on and I thank you all. I love you all. And thank you for the power. Thank you for the encouragements. And um, like I said, it's done deal. My, my accomplishment, my accomplishments are done deal in my head. You know, <clears throat> I ain't never going back to that. Anyways. We're proud of you. We are proud of you, Lori. I'm, Great I'm, job. I'm going to live, what, 200 years we get, right? <laughs> that's yeah, what that's Mike, what Mike says, Mike. two to 300. All right, two to All right Mike. So. I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> Speaking oh, of Mike, yeah. I wondered if you have any, um, if you would ask minute words to share with us or Jeffrey Morlock between uh, either uh, one of you. Yeah, just, just real quick, um, you, know, um, you know, we've got a, a pretty small crowd here tonight 
uh, and because it's on YouTube, that the views will go up. There are a lot of people in on passive that aren't engaged right now. They don't have a clue what's going on. And, and that could be 30, 40, 50, 60 percent of the people in on passive. But it's really going to be interesting as Ash comes forward with either bringing the OES back office up or we get into scenario C. Just watch and see what happens. All of these individuals that are affiliates right now, the word will get out there and it will get out there very strong. And what's happening with an on passive, they're going to hear what's going on. They're coming back, every single one of them. And then you think about the 1.6, 1.8 million people that on passive has brought into the, to the fold. They're in a holding tank. Those people also are going to hear what's happening within on passive. So it's it's just a really, really fun place to be right now. We have a lot of people that aren't engaged, but as the weeks go by now, because so many things are going to be happening, those individuals are going to flock back into on passive. And then when that happens and on passive is off and running, those individuals, along with all of us, they're going to start sharing, maybe not on passive, but they're going to give their testimonial. And that's when the numbers just start escalating more and more and more. And, and it, it becomes very, very dynamic. And the viral effect kicks in. It, just everything that we've talked about over the last five and a half years is, is just going to be on steroids because of what Mr. Mufara has set up in the last six months to a year. It, it, it's, a, it's a fun place to be. I can't think of a better place I, I would want to be when you talk about business. Uh, it, it, it's a place to be if you want to change your life, if you want to take care of that financial bottom line, if you want to live the lifestyle you want to live. Uh, it's more true today than it was five years ago. And it was really, really cool five years ago. But today, yeah, it's 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 super, super cool. That's it. Just just very quickly. Thank you, Thank you Mike. Uh, we have a friend of uh, ours from India that started with us from the beginning of the webinar. Mohammad Ziaul, would you like to say a few words, please? Unmute and speak with us. Uh, thank you, ma'am. First, I thank to Ms. Minus, ma'am, and uh, Ron Hablet, sir. Uh, my goodness, uh, to be a part of uh, uh, Night Just with uh, Star Night with our stars. Uh, uh, thank you, and uh, I am proud to be founder of OnePassive and a, a brilliant company uh, which breaks all record in the world. And uh, we are going to change the world uh, together and on IT. It's uh, done deal. It's uh, beyond done deal. And thanks to our great CEO, our lovable CEO, Mr. Um, As Mufare, sir, uh, which uh, uh, his vision, his mission and vision uh, to uplift humanity. And we uh, stand with As, and no matter how it takes time, but uh, we are uh, we are so blessed for a <laughs> chance to be part of OnePassive and we are on the good hand. So definitely we win. We are all winners and we are going to make uh, great history uh, or uh, we are creating great history. And <laughs> all OnePassive products are made from scratch and uh, it's uh, reasonable. And uh, uh, it's um, our CEO mission and vision that uh, we are uh, create uh, some uh, new features, some new uh, ideas. So we are so blessed. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate it, MD. And, uh, all right. Anybody else want to speak? Speak up now or for whoever hold your peace. Jeffrey, would uh, you like a few last words or happy? Or? I, I think we've 
pretty much covered the gamut, but I, I would like to mention something uh, that Norell brought up. Um, Norell, you're talking about the feminine energy and the mainstay of feminine energy is creation. And look at what on passive doing. Look at what Mr. Mufar is doing. It is all about creation and lifting up humanity. And so, hey, I'm with you. We need more of it. We need more balancing of the feminine uh, energy. Uh, and that's got nothing to do with gender. That it's it's energy. So, it, but it's a creative energy. So, thank you for bringing that up. Very thank well. you. Oh, I thank just, Jeffrey. I just want I to know Jeffrey where and so <laughs> <laughs> I you think talk I'm about lunch, but how many times was it pronounced lunch? And it's lunchtime yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think that um, I'm passive probably has the most powerful women in it than you could find in the world. I really believe that because we have very strong, confident uh ladies that are that are women that are part of this organization so uh and i know ash Bifar respects you greatly so uh if uh no one else wants to speak uh dr benny you want to speak are you just giving me the fingers no 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 i, I want to oh, okay. say okay. thank you i, I want to say a word um if you, you don't mind thank you so much yes. for giving me this opportunity I want to welcome each and everyone a happy Friday. But before I proceed, I want to thank our Heavenly Father for bringing all of us together today, this evening. Seriously? Yes. And I want to thank him for sending an important person. If it wasn't for that individual, you and I would not be here today, this evening. And his name is Mr. Ash Mafere. Uh, Because of what he has done, with all the challenges that he has faced. Um, you know that sometimes he said he does not mind facing all these challenges because he is going to fight for it. He's going to do whatever it takes. Remember that his main goal is, I mean, his heart is for humanity. He will do what it takes. And you guys notice that what I have listened to most of his videos, he brags a lot about this company because he knows that he will do what it takes. He is going to achieve his goals. And because of his brightness, it makes a lot of you know people out there hate him. I noticed that, but I know that the Lord is with him, seriously. So what I wanna say is, Mr. Ash is a self-sacrificing man, a man who has the heart of humanity, a man who stated that either I do or I die. And then he is here to eradicate poverty and to uplift humanity. But when it comes to this back to basics, within unpassive, it refers to the strategic approach that it emphasizes focusing on the fundamental principles the core values, the essential elements of the business. Now, we talk about revisiting the core values. It encourages employees, his employees, right? All right. To understand the embody of this company, the core mission, the vision, and to align with what? The actions of unpassive, or should I say the organization. Now, it strengthens the operational fundamentals. Why? Why? Why am I saying this? Because it emphasizing of the efficiency, the quality, and the consistency of the day-to-day -day operation. It's coming. It is really coming. By streamlining uh, the processes of the overflow, or should I say the workflow, to eliminate unnecessary complexity. Now, when it comes to about, about the focus of you and I, we are the customers, right? Customers, the priority is the customer satisfaction and the exception of our products. Now, when it comes to uh, the employees' engagement, it engages by empowering the employees, the employees by fostering the open work, 
communication. As we all know, communication is the key in anything, in business, right? By providing what? Training and development uh, to, when it comes to that training and development, it recognizes and it rewards the contributions of what? The company's success. Uh, it talks about the innovation as well. And by innovation and adaptation, which it encourages the, the culture and continuous improvement. And I will stop here. I just want to thank you all for giving me this amazing opportunity. We are fighters. We will do what it takes. Thank you. Got it. You got it there, Dr. Smiley. Another strong woman of unfounded. Wow. You know what? There's another lady on there that's a very strong woman of my past. I'm glad she finally put her hand up. Um, I, I had the privilege of meeting her in person, too. So, Mirthlin Butler, what you got to say, girl? Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. I don't know if what I'm going to be saying is back to the basics. But I've been around for a very, very long time. I don't plan on going anywhere. My support is here 100% for Mr. Ash and everyone. But that derailment that we had on our journey that took us back two years, it's okay, because the devil is a liar. It's okay, because you know out of that, so many things have come out of it. Because if that didn't happen, there would not have been Marty's lives, Red lives, narrow lives. We would not have been getting to know all of these great people in a passive. And the more I listen to the lives every day, I'm like, okay, we have great, great people. So we needed a space to shine on all of these people's lives. And there are plenty, plenty more to shine upon. So, and, and that's just the part I wanted to put in, but I think it really took us back to some basics because we are getting to know each other much better. We are getting to know who we are dealing with on some level, you know, which is great for all of us. Back to you, Ron. Thank you, Marthlin. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. A body. You want to say a few words, Mr. Australia? Um, also, we have Marcian's hand raised. So. Hello. Okay. Uh, someone else hey, have buddy. any hand raised? Oh. No, well, go thank ahead. You. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Ron. Uh, thank you, Minu. Thank you, everybody. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, another great speakers, uh, all our leaders here. We thank you for being there for us all the time and letting us know where we are and encouraging us. Uh, we're doing the same thing on the other side of the background for other communities, and that that's something that excites us all the time. Uh, back to the basics, really. I mean, I remember the back to the basics basically looks to me like we get our missed it all connected. We get our OES back, and then we got all our, you know, what we came here for, and that's the basics, I believe, uh, moving forward. And... Yeah, the future is bright, obviously, and that's the basics itself. And we uh, uh, also have, you know, one thing I really like every time our CEO comes up in the old days before this uh, challenge, it's always something that excites us and gets us to another level every time he comes up. And, and that's what we're looking forward to. That's, what was, that's what's coming. We're going back to the basics of that moving forward. And the other thing that I like about last 360 was uh, when he say, you know, it's not only that on passive was the beacon of hope, but it's also uh, a love is the foundation of of what we do, and and really that's that's what it is. That's that's the love there. From the first day I saw, it was love. It was truthful. It was you can see you can see it's a straight pure honesty and love and all of us here believe that love all of us believe that vision and and we're here to do everything that it takes to uh, to get that where we're going and it's glad that we are passing that challenge and excitement is on the way and i'm glad to be here thank you leaders for always for uh, you know lifting us up thank you thank you 
Thank you. We appreciate you speaking. Thank you very much. Talk about a, a strong woman, okay? We have a strong woman that's going to speak next. And, and when, when she, she's like E.F. Hutton, okay? I mean, he speaks, you listen, okay? Because she's always got the joy and the excitement. She's a party lady. She's a dancer. Most of all, she's part of I'm Passing. So let's go to Marcian. Okay, thank you so much, Ron. Thank you, Mino. This is a great webinar. I couldn't abstain myself but putting my hand up to say something, even though I didn't really, I didn't, I'm at work like you guys all see. But uh, being uh, doing what we do every day and uh, hearing from everybody, this is a very great subject. Back to where we have started from. So I'm just going to take it as a woman in the kitchen. Most of the time while we are cooking, we have an idea of something that we want to do. After we have mixed everything, he take it to the kitchen, from the kitchen to the pot on the table, and we realize that he did not give any test. There's something that was missing or there was something that we put it much. And never remember, salt and sugar look alike. So sometimes you might look at the salt, you wanted to put a spoon, but you went and get the sugar and just put the, a half of the spoon. And then you have missed everything. What do you do? You have to go back where you have started and pay more attention for what you are doing. Sometimes you have to change the position of the sugar in your house or your kitchen, or change the cup of the sugar from the one that look like the one of the salt so that you don't make that mistake again. And uh, this is what is going on with us in here. We were doing something. Our CEO was there. He has brought a lot of people with him. He did not know that those people was looking alike, just like him. But some of them, because they were looking alike, just don't have the same idea. So he keep mixing them. And along the way, he realized that what was coming up was not exactly what he had in mind, was not exactly what he wanted to save to us that we were waiting on the table. So we have to go back. And going back did not mean that we're not going to eat. We just have to take a little more time because we have to restart it. We have to pay more attention. He have to go back and say, oh, hold on a minute. I think yesterday I wanted to put a spoon of salt, but I went and get a half spoon of sugar. And in salt, they mess everything up and I have to go back. So it's not a bad thing to go back. And uh, if you are climbing the step and you miss one step, you know what is going to happen? Either you fail and you break something, or you hold yourself and you hang up there and somebody will help you to climb. So you cannot just miss a step and think that you will go away with it. You have to go back and restart it and pay more attention. And this thing, this unpassive, this business, this movement that all of us are in, we have gone through that every single day of our life. Every single minute in our basic life, we do that every day. On passive is not an exam of that. On passive, it did not supposed to go without making those mistakes. It would have not have been good. By the way, it was good for us to have those mistakes so that we would differentiate the salt and the sugar in our kitchen while we are moving on, cooking what we have to save the population for tomorrow. So, that's all I wanted to say, and uh, I really appreciate the topic of today. Thank you guys so much. We are in it to win it. We are not going anywhere. We are going to be here. And for those that will hear my English not so perfect, I'm a French-speaking person. So just take it like it is, and next time it's going to be better. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marcia. Thank I'm glad you. you uh, I'm glad you come on and raised your hand. There's another lady that I'm glad finally come on camera and raise her hand from 
Bangladesh, uh, the one who uh, invented, not invented, that brings out Marty the Garmel's dimples when he smiles. So Ava Diaz, not Davis, Diaz. Go ahead, Ava. You're muted. Hello, everyone. Hey there. Hi, uh, hi. It's that hi. little red hi. microphone that you've used for the last five years, okay, down in the corner as a red splash. You have to open that up. I do. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ron, uh, you know, I'll get back to you on this. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> thank you, Ron, for, uh, for having me here. And thank you, Mino. And hello to everyone. Um, the topic I was listening in, but I just couldn't resist myself to come in and say uh, hello and just say that, um, you know, we actually, all of us are, here are so, so very blessed to be a part of this and um, uh, going back to basics. I mean, um, you just can, at least I cannot explain. I don't have words to express my gratitude to Mr. Ash Mofara for, you know, he he hasn't given up uh, uh, on anything. He's just taking us further down. And if necessary for him, he came back to the basics of everything so that he can pull us up again. And that is... One amazing gentleman, I would say. He he has done what he has done because um, right now for my very own experience out here in Bangladesh, I can say the millions of people that are suffering today of the floods, they need help. They surely do need. And he has made us voices for, uh, for them. He's, he said, I'll create Mother Teresa's. And actually, he's creating Mother Teresa's. And if he didn't have to get back to the basics of everything, where would we be? We wouldn't have been where we are today. So all I can say is thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ash. And thank you, everyone, for just listening in to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ron. Thank, thank you, you. Abba. Thank you so much for speaking with us tonight. And we continue saying prayers for you and people in Bangladesh. We love you. You're very special to us, Abba. So hang in there and we're praying for you. So uh, you see any more hands, Benu? No. Nope. All right. Well, Marty, what I would like to do you now so is yeah. I would like, yeah, I would like to thank Marty DeGarmel for live streaming us tonight and uh the thing that he does so well i don't know how many channels we went out to but uh it was very nice of you to offer it and do that for us so we really appreciate it so if there is no more hands no more comments uh i'm going to say god bless everybody here god bless the usa and uh all the other countries that are here uh, we love you thanks for sharing on friday night live i mean uh excuse me let's so <laughs> marty did you want to say something okay that's not, are you just giving me the fingers okay, okay i'm gonna stop uh, recording <laughs> and thank you everybody for coming and uh please spread the word and uh we're here for you guys, and we love to listen to everybody when they when they when they share. So, good night, everybody. Thank I you. Hope you. Love have you a great all. Night. Thank you, Mike. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Good night. Thank Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.